Welcome back. I've officially uh, dried off. I'm no longer sweaty. Jesus, you come back so tired. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking... It was a brutal match between me and Mr. Sandman. I mean, I don't blame you, though, dude. That shit was nuts. Yeah, I had to fucking... Go to sweat save, Stay safe and save state. That's the word. Fucking whatever. Save, save stay night. Yes, yeah, Stave and Busters. Yeah. Fucking... Anyway, we're, we're gonna... Save and Urkel. Yeah. <laughs> we're about to start Steven the world King. circuit. <laughs> Just naming Stevens over there. No, Steven Irwin. <laughs> Steven Seagal. Steve, Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg? Yeah, Steven Spielberg. Okay, uh, I'm gonna just jump right ahead into the Steven world Stroheim. circuit. Oh, Jesus. Aaron Ryan. I, I read that as Aryan Ryan, and I was like, really? That's like, <laughs> that's, that's kind of much. Ugh. I don't know, it was Aaron Ryan. Yo, this dude Irishman. fucking looks like Jason Voorhees' is kid form. I don't know what that looks like, but sure. Oh, he's jumping. He's jumping all over the place. Yeah, bro. I, oh, I, oh, he's sneaky. What's the world circuit? It's like a, a badger down there, like a tiger. I don't know. I'm too busy wailing on this Irishman. Sorry, look, I think I think it's a I think it's a lion. I like I like his uh, face on the side over there. It's all smug, and you're all like, mm, "Yeah, I'm gonna get you." Uh oh. Uh uh, uh uh uh. uh. Oh, fuck me, dude. Oh, Jesus. Uh, that's like, what's his face's thing? That's like Piston Hurricane's thing. Is that, what is he doing in his? The dude where he just, like, launches the barrage of hits at you. Oh, yeah. Like I said, it's always difficult with these, like, because they change them up a bit. Yeah. You would have said, like, Piston Honda. Like, oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. You know? Yeah, but Piston Honda's not in this. Of course. Only Dragon Chan. Right? <laughs> Who's that? Dude, Dragon Chan is a lot of them. It's fucking weird, dude. Yeah, it's like they just. It's like they couldn't get the rights to the characters. Yeah, no, seriously. Like, isn't it like the same damn platform? But like, or it's like different companies picked it up because it's Nintendo in my head. I think it's, it had something to do with the fact that it had Mike Tyson's name attached to it. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Because it was Mike Tyson's Punch Out, right? Yeah. Now it's, what is it, like Super Punch Out Mr. Dream Punch Out or something? Uh, I think it's Super Punch Out featuring Mr. Dream. That's it. Oh shit. He even does the same sound. It's literally the same attack. <laughs> okay, well, uh, that went let's well. See, let's see what he does for his little, little taunt. Generic. Okay, God, look at that face. That's what fucking Masked Muscle did. <laughs> Dude, you saw his face when he did the uppercut. It was like, Grr! he's all like, turned <laughs> to the side. I get, I get weird Polnera five from this guy. Polnera? I know he's Irish. Yeah, he's, like, he's Irish. He just has like the little like smugness look in his eye, you know what I'm saying? I guess? I'd be uh, concerned if this guy just suddenly broke out like a fucking swordsman. <laughs> Silver Chariato! I was like, oh man, dude, like, just, just stop the game now. <laughs> I ain't gonna deal with fucking Silver Chariot. Looks like he gets rocked in the body, huh? Yeah, he takes his... Yep, okay. He found his weakness. I mean, literally makes sense for people who jump around a lot in, like, fighting games and, like, punching around. Yeah. Because, like, when you fucking beat somebody's body like that, uh, you're slowly pretty much just, like, stopping them from breathing. Damn, fuck you, dude. That is literally the same attack. Oh, he he stopped for a second and then went Good for a second. Oh, Jesus. goodness. He stopped. Just, just, yeah. I, I was a freak. Pop, pop, pop. But yeah, you're literally like, like punching them in the and punching them in the fucking chest so they can they, it slows them down because they don't have as much breath. Yeah. And it makes sense for somebody like this, like quick. Mm hmm You know, because the body is a bit is a bigger uh, target than the fucking head. The only problem is, of course, leave your face open. Exactly. I remember that was, that was like literally like all the stuff and like all the uh, like like in the UFC games that I bought and the boxing games I bought as a kid growing up. Like, yeah, work the body, and it's like slow them down. It slows them down a bit. Yeah. But it's like yeah, because like they'll have like stamina meters, so they see how far they can punch and do. They had like quick stamina meters and be able to move fast, but they wouldn't hit hard. Well, fuck you, dude. There's an uppercut at the end of that. That's the thing I'm gonna have a hard time remembering. Yeah, yeah, no worries. I need to remember the number, like what the number is before he does it. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know it honestly. Fuck you! Oh my god. Here you go. Ugh, I had too much food. 
man. I'm feeling it now. I'm seeing you punch this guy in the stomach, and I'm like, ugh, please. No one do that to me. I'm gonna throw up. I'm full of food. I'm full of ramen and chocolate. <laughs> Fucking barf all over the boxing ring. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking gross. What was that? He's gonna grab you! What the fuck? How does this- What is that Irish magic he's pulling? <laughs> Dude, he fucking just grappled you. What the fuck? He, he like fucking took my health too. I didn't do he swallowed your soul. What you yeah, mean, what man? the fuck, Wandy? I didn't know you were from Ireland. <laughs> Dude, he swallowed your soul when he was there. He's like, hey, give me a soul. Mm -hmm. That's scary as fuck, man. I no, thanks. Know. I wouldn't want my soul sucked out by an Irishman. No, me neither. I don't think I want anyone <laughs> sucking my soul out. Eh, it depends who it is. You like a sexual thing? Eh, hey, you know. People got people got some weird things. You know, know, you got the succubuses, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. You got of course. Debar you got those Debaru's, you know. Yeah. There's this really nice redheaded Debaru who knew like could probably use it. Oh, gross. Why? She could use my soul as a familiar to like summon like evil melon bread. Evil <laughs> melon bread. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, true. And take over the world. <laughs> Sounds like the worst slash best anime. <laughs> Please show it to me. Somebody write that up. All right. This is a. Uh... This is called Melon Pan Sand. <laughs> melon Pan Sand. <laughs> melon Pan Sand. This is the evil melon bird. Let's see what is his name. It's like, oh my god. It's a good old slice of life. It's it's pretty much them plotting like world domination, but having small minor inconveniences stop them. Yeah. <laughs> like, alright, I've summoned it. And there's just a guy who's like whose soul got sucked out. Is it familiar? His soul isn't fully sucked out. So, like, the demon isn't fully powerful yet. It's yeah. like, why'd you stop? It's like, I got this. I slipped on something. I'm in the middle of the process. On... It's like, so you have half my soul. Yes. And you can't give it back. No. So, what do we do now? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Melon Pan Sam will help, will help oh us. Oh, my God. And he comes out. Ah, ha, ha. And he's like, he's a little bit smaller than they thought. <laughs> and he's like, I can't. It's like I can fl oh I can he's like I can fly, but he can't fly too high. He tries to he tries to go to the sky like I can only go five feet from the ground. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Just like yeah, who's that? Like uh, this is the this is the soul I got. It's like well, why is he still alive? Well, got about half of it. <laughs> There's like half a familiar, and you got half, half of your powers. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's all he's all. Then it's just all of them, like, getting into all kinds of hijinks and really finding out friendship. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like how it says Super Punch You 7. Super Punch You 7. Why, did you go to the main screen? Oh, you bitch. Oh, well, I, I, I'm trying to... You, you just wants to fight the Irishman. He doesn't want to... <laughs> Your wimpy little punches will not even phase me. No, he's... Why does he have a fucking... <laughs> Your wimpy little punches won't even phase me. I was like, why did you have a fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger accent? <laughs> Your wimpy little punches will not phase me. This dude is a boxer. Look at that face, dude. Like, I mean, that face is the face only a mother could love. Nah, man, I bet you he was handsome, but he won, won too many hits at the snake, bro. The snake? It's another reference? No. I'm referencing Aladdin. Oh, um, I've never seen Aladdin. You've never seen Aladdin? If I did, it was a long time ago, and it's just, if it's Disney, I really don't care. Oh, yeah? Disney was never really my thing. Everybody loves it, and I'm like, sure, they're good. I saw some good ones. Brave Little Toaster, man, that shit was my childhood. Is that Disney? Yeah. That stuff, I liked that stuff. Um, I fucking love My Bare Little Toes. That's such a good fucking movie. Nah, I mean, like, I, I know what you mean. Like, you get, yeah, three, four, five, six. Seven. Six? I think it's six. Yeah, six and the seventh one. one is the uppercut. Uh, no, like, I, I really do believe you, though, because, like, even from just my perspective of, like, oh, yeah, you, you like Snow White, you like uh, Sleeping Beauty, it wasn't even the fact that, like, oh, it's about a girl. Like, didn't get me. To me, I'm just like, oh, this is older. Like, I want newer. Because I was a kid. You know yeah. What I'm so I didn't really... So, like, you know, like, Cinderella didn't do anything for me. It's even beauty. Even fucking Robin Hood with the, uh... The fox. The furries, yeah. The what? Okay, so they say that's one of the main reasons why furries started becoming a little bit more prominent. Was that movie? Was that Robin yeah. Hood movie? Because it was a movie that was more mainstream where they had anthropomorphic characters. Right. So, you know, of course, you're a kid and you're watching this and he doesn't really process. And you're like, why do I like this? Yeah. And they say like, that's like one of the main influences. I'm not saying it's the influence, but it's one of the main ones. 
Sounds like it. Because, you know, it's just like the most common, more mainstream one. Like, an idea of like, oh, I have a weird clown fetish. Why? Uh, I liked Harley Quinn a lot when I was a kid. Oh, okay. I didn't know where you were going with that. I was like, weird clown fetish. Yeah, no, like... I, was, I was speaking from experience and personal oh, bias. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, oh, that's hot. Like, Harley Quinn. You're like, oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Like, I, it's just one of those things where it all links together. Like, you yeah. see something from your childhood. And they, I remember uh, uh, listening to something about that. Like, a lot of the stuff, like, even more so, like, deeper into that. Like, clown fetishes is, like, one of the bigger ones out hmm. there, believe it or not. Oh, Jesus. And they attribute it to, um, as a kid, uh, you know, it's, it's a mix of something adult and childlike in the sense of, like, when you were a kid, you went to the circus and you remember clowns. And you remember how much fun you had. Yeah. So, like, it's that on top of everything else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get Like, it. I can honestly say, like, me, like, ooh, cosplay, you know, sexy, isn't the fact that, like, oh, you get to be the character. Like, no, yeah, I like anime. I grew up watching anime and seeing anime girls and being like, oh, I like anime girls. I like blue hair and all that shit. You know? So it ties into that as well. Like, I can attest to saying that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Or like hot video game characters that grew up with certain ones, you know? Yeah. That's literally like the perfect example even coming from me. Like, yeah, man, like it makes sense. Because now you're taking something adult and mixing it with not, I just like something that makes you happy when you think about it. Oh. So it not only makes you happy in your mind, it makes you happy in your pantaloons. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's where it kind of comes from. And it's always funny because, like, some people, not even just that, it's the, uh, the attitudes of certain characters. Right. Really, like, help people see, like, ooh, I like this. Like, like I said, being, liking Cinderay characters. Mm. Like, I don't know what it is about that character, and you realize, oh, he's mean. <laughs> you know, you're like, yeah, I kind of like that. It's pretty good. Like, I'm not going to say that's not good. Yeah. And then, you, and then you watch things that kind of, like, add to that, and you're like, I think I noticed and learned something about myself. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, I'm not, like, trying to be like, oh, fetishizing this, fetishizing like that. It's just, like, in my opinion, that's why I'm always like, oh, I post lewd stuff, or it's not really lewd. It's just, like, because it's like, let's not be afraid to talk about this shit. I know for, you know, some people it's weird, which I understand, but, like, he used words like, oh, that I fetish size, like, when a girl's all like this, and, like, I, I guess because I feel like sometimes yes that's the wording but sometimes just like no like I understand that gets me a little turned on or something you know it's like yeah I enjoy or if he changes no you really enjoy this don't you it's like yes I enjoy it mm. it makes it sound less weird right you know like for example like short hair I like short hair like uh honestly I don't even know where that one stems from to be honest yeah like what, what was it? What was the character? Uh, like in a mar modern movie was uh, the girl in um, the new Alien movie. Oh, yeah. Like she had short hair and I was like, oh, dude, like she's hot. You know, like I don't know where it came from with me. Like like girls with like short hair. Like that's pretty short. Pixie cuts and like even like I think girl looks good with a shaved head. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Seriously, I don't mind. She go. It's like, oh, I, I have a shaved head. Like, okay, what's wrong with that? Because I've seen. Like, I knew one. It was. It was a UFC fighter. I forget her name. She had a shaved head. I was like, bruh. <laughs> it's like she looked good. I remember seeing a video and was uh, the girl was like, oh, I have something to say. And she takes off. I was wearing a wig the whole time, and she's bald. I'm like, wow, she's really pretty. Like, <laughs> flat. I'm like, wow, she's really pretty. It's like she looked better without the wig. In my head, I was like, "Hell yeah!" Like that's something. Like you say, I, I'll speak freely about this because I, you know, I ain't worried about it. It's not like, "Oh, Zuko like short hair, weird." Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not a weird thing. Taking these dramatic pauses because I'm drinking something. <laughs> Just uh -oh. so y'all know, yeah. But no, like I remember like learning about like quote-unquote like sexuality and things like that and i think it's really super interesting how like a lot of it tri attributes to just things you slowly picked up on as a kid you know and, and particular tropes that you like because i remember like back then like this is the nerdy girl look like oh my god what a loser you know and then now it's like people like that 
And she's like, yeah, because you had other influence of nerdy girls being a certain way. Because in like in the 90s, like it was established what the nerdy girl looked like. She had like a ponytail and like glasses. Like that was it. Like that was all. But then like, oh, we're going to make her hot now. Then like you watch it down and it's like, nah, I kind of like the brother with the ponytail and the glasses. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing about me I've noticed yeah. uh, is uh, the, the, actually the easiest way to describe this is with my actual waifu <laughs> <laughs> with uh, Megumi Kato from yeah. How to Raise a Boring Girlfriend. I noticed when um, similar to you, I think short hair for me, I yeah. like, but not like short, like a like a guy's haircut shorter, like, a, like it's got to like between short, yeah. like the bottom of the head, like to, a like, bob. Yeah, somewhere like that. Yeah. And then when they put that into like a, a short ponytail. Love that. Yeah, fair. I yeah. know what you mean. I know what you mean. Like, I know. I, I enjoy that too. Like shoulder length. And stuff. But like, you get long. They say, look, punch, ooh, punch, wee, seven. <laughs> punch, wee, seven. Okay. okay. I, didn't, I don't know. I don't know. Did you see it? No. Really? Come yeah. on, dude. I mean, I'll look back at it in the, the replays, but. uh, you Suck, bro. Piss me off. You and your short, love of short hair, you fucking freak. Yeah. I can't yeah, believe. Yeah. I can't believe Drew fucking likes short haired girls. What a loser. This is the guy who just revealed it. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I like long-haired women. Okay, brother? Okay, the one you... Well, wait, doesn't darkness have long hair? Yeah, yeah, brother. Fuck. So doesn't Weiss shit. Yeah! It's Weiss, all making sense. Weiss went to prison. Oh, wait. Uh, no, actually, Weiss went to prison did have short hair. Did she? Yeah, and she was hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right there, I mean, man. fair enough. Fair enough. But yeah, I think... I, like, I try to think back. It's like, I ever, like, do that. Like, you th just think back to, like, hmm, why do I like this? Why does this make me happy, so to speak? Mm. Like, like, I can tell you why I like electronic music. Because I at least listened to electronic music as a kid. I remember having good memories of, like, being in some my aunt's car. And she's blasting, like, tech, 90s techno music. And I'm like, this is awesome. But then I couldn't find it anywhere because no one liked it. And I was like, why? It's, it was like, oh, we all in the rap here. I'm like, this sucks. So, like, when I start raving, uh, dude, it was, like, being a kid again. Because, yeah. like, that on top of anime, having, like, synthesizers and all that, it all just combined together. So I finally felt like, all right, this is really cool. I'm, like, living. I say, Ryan, why do you like to go raving? I like to dance, one, two. And two, it's, like, re like living my childhood, so to speak. Because I remember, like, seeing videos of people, like, out in the club or out at a rave, like, dancing, having a good time, you know? And then, like, being able to do that as an adult, I was like, this is cool. Like, everyone's like, Ryan, you should go to a festival. I'm like, I, it's like, I don't want to. Like, I don't want to, like, go camping. Like, I get why. But that's why I like cons, too. Like, I will stay at a con for four days. <laughs> because, like I said, legit. Oh, it's my childhood. But everyone's an anime character. Holy shit. So am I. <laughs> you know? It's just a nice feeling. Yeah. Man, you used to talk about camping. I, I'd do that now that I've seen Late Back Camp. I have yet to watch Laid Back Camp. Like, let me tell you, we're going on vacation. This was the one year I was, like, really excited for us to maybe go camping. But it's like, nah, nah, we're going to the Bahamas instead. <laughs> Bahamas. I'm like, really? I Just when I was like, oh, yeah, let's do camping. I want to actually go in a tent this time and do all that cool stuff because Drew this anime. Do all that anime shit. Because it was a good show. And Drew's, I was really... going to be at camp reading Laid Back Camp. Yeah, I have the first volume of the manga. Yeah, hey, didn't you get it at Anime Boston? Yeah, I did. At the Barnes & Noble. <laughs> Not even at the con. At the Barnes & Noble that was Barnes in the mall. And Nobles. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, uh, so I apparently cannot beat this Irishman. <laughs> this Irishman? Yeah, I have I have knocked him out once. And, uh... Well, we'll figure it out next time. We'll see what happens next time. Maybe I'll learn more about his pattern. And maybe I won't be, uh... Yeah, maybe we'll learn more about human sexuality. Yeah. I don't know if I want to though. This, nah, it'll be good weird. for you. It'll be good for you. Yeah, great. Maybe I'll be maybe I'll finally get older as you keep saying. Hell yeah, bro.